Hey guys, welcome back. So it was specifically requested by a few people that I do a sink strainer pour with the UV reactive paint. This is the paint that I'm using, Midnight Glow. Um, yeah, so we're gonna just get started with it. Uh, to start off with, I'm going to put down some regular paint, just as kind of a base, not a lot, but I'm gonna start with I'm just going to put some white down here, basically. Just so it kind of has something to move on. Okay. And then I used this paint last night, so I have a bit left in my cup here. So what I'm going to do, because I don't like to waste any paint, I'm going to pour this on here. That's going to be the paint we're going to see the least. And then I'm going to just reuse this cup here. Make sure first that there's nothing on the bottom of it. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we've got some orange. And pink. Yellow. And this is a 14 by 14 canvas, so it's going to take a decent amount of paint. I'm going to throw a tiny bit of black in here, and I do mean tiny. Okay. Then let's see, let's go with the green. And then the blue. Cool. So far that looks awesome. All right, so we're going to go back to orange. More yellow. Pink. And I think I'm going to throw the rest of the green in here. Okay, I think this should be enough, especially with what I already used there. So let's go ahead and go for it. And I really, on purpose, used just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of black. So I think that worked out fine. Um, otherwise, I was a little worried the colors would t just kind of go together a little too much. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and let this sit here for a second. And while it's doing that, I'm actually going to put a little more paint in this cup. I want some more blue. I'm going to put more blue, yellow, and then see if I have any green in there. The yellow does definitely tend to kind of disappear a bit. <laughs> For whatever reason. I think it's lost. see what this does here. We'll put a little more. And that might actually affect the pattern a little differently too because we let that first paint kind of sit there for a bit and move while I was putting this cup together. So it should affect the pattern a little there. All right. So I'm going to pull this off and then I'm going to let this just kind of sit there for a minute and keep moving. Cool. I'm 
glad I added that second part there. <laughs> Sorry guys, trying to think of what to do. Um, it doesn't actually seem to be moving all that much. So I might just go ahead and tilt it at this point. These paints do tend to be a little bit thicker. So that may be why may not have added quite enough water. <laughs> All right, well, this is just gonna be crazy, like psychedelic. <laughs> that is actually really cool, I think. So, neon and UV uh, reactive paint. So, in just a second, I'm going to show you guys what we mean by UV reactive paint. There we go. So, I turn off all the lights. I can't make it completely dark in here because... It is daylight outside, but using a black light, you can see that it activates the paint and makes it glow in the dark, which is super cool. Um, and also while we were, while I was getting that light ready, some really cool cells started to pop up in here. And yeah, there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.